Maxmatic could put all sorts of things in the memory of his Squirkator. The names and phone numbers of all the Matics, the prices of fruit and vegetables, plane schedules, and even recipes. And since every Matic had their own terminal, they could question the central Squirkator directly from home. To make things even easier, terminals were also installed in the country for traveling Matics and other inhabitants of these regions. The snout fish fisherman sitting by the river could ask the Squirkator for a good snout fish kebab recipe, for example. Telephone numbers, prices of fruit and vegetables, plain schedules, recipes. You'd think that with all this data, the Squirkator's memory would be overloaded. Not at all, because Max Matic had even thought of that. He designed a system to lighten the load in the Squirkator's memory using special types of storage reservoirs, as we're about to see. The memory of the Squirkator, you'll recall, consisted of groups of eight squirks that could take on one of two electrical states, zero or one. You'll also recall that when it was in electrical state one, the squirk went squeak. And when it was in electrical state zero, it went squack. All right, all this is old hat for those of you who've been with us from the beginning of our story, but it's worth reminding ourselves. So, the squirks could take on one of two electrical states, zero or one, and when they did, they either squeaked or squacked. And when Maxmatic put them in his machine, depending upon whether they had memorized a zero or a one, they went squeak or squack again. Now, Maxmatic recorded this on a tape recorder or on a disc. So, when the Squirkator's memory got too full, it set aside the extra bytes to rest in these magnetic reservoirs, also known as auxiliary memories. This meant that if a Matic wanted some specific information and the Squirkator found that it didn't have it in its central processing memory, it would simply go and look in one of its auxiliary memories. With perfections like this, Maxmatic Squirkator was really and truly going to revolutionize the lives of future generations of Matics.